look at where each individual component is mounted. We're going to start with the battery box. The battery box requires 26 and a half inches of frame rail space. And the other thing that must, must be noted about the battery box is the legs of the box must come all the way to the top or near the top of the frame rail. Keep in mind, 26 and a half inches of frame rail space is required for this installation. The next component we're going to look at is the condenser. The condenser is approximately 26 inches long by 15 inches wide and about nine and a half inches deep. This, this component will be mounted to the underside of the cab, as you can see here where we have the condenser on this truck. Keep in mind that the truck suspension allows the truck to move up and down, so make sure you have plenty of clearance underneath the condenser to stop it from hitting any of these components. The next component we will look at is the PMM, the Power Management Module. As you will see down here, the Power Management Module is approximately 12 inches wide. This requires 12 inches of frame rail space. Keep in mind the PMM can be mounted to either side of the frame rail. It can be mounted to the, the outside of the frame rail or the inside of the frame rail. Now we'll look at the tube and tube installation. The tube and tube can be installed in many different ways. Uh, on, on this particular installation, you'll see that it comes down here, across, down, and goes right into the condenser. On some installations, the tube and tube comes straight down and then goes under the truck right here. Um, you have to be aware of uh, components that are in the way of your tube and tube installation that will force you to come down and, and, and avoid those, those obstacles. The final component we will look at is the evaporator and touchscreen. As you can see on the back wall, the evaporator takes up approximately 23 inches by 20 inches on the back wall. This is really the only consideration you have to take into account other than the fact that you need to find some kind of support behind the wall to attach the evaporator to.